glory for another privilege to be at his feet. Shall we begin to bless the name of the Lord tonight, beloved? Let's begin to appreciate him for his goodness. Let's thank him for his faithfulness. In your own words, appreciate this great God tonight. Say something good unto him. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Say something powerful to this great God, the one that has kept you and I, the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Say something powerful unto him. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. There is none like you, the bishop of our soul. We thank you, O God, the captain of our warfare. We thank you, O God. We appreciate you for another wonderful time in your presence. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our job. Thank you for our health. Thank you for our finances. Thank you for the salvation of our soul. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Father, we thank you. The one that is fighting our battle. The invincible hand fighting our battle. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you particularly for what you are doing in this commission. What are Life Mission and Ministries International. We thank you for everyone connected to us globally. We thank you for the testimonies, for everything you are doing. We say, blessed be thy name, O God. Blessed be thy name, O God. We appreciate you, immortal, invincible, the only wise God, the ever faithful God. We say thank you. We say thank you. Please pick a song of your choice and appreciate this great God. Say something good unto him. Show him appreciation. He deserves all your appreciation. Praise is not just God's demand. Praise is also God's delight. Take a song of your choice and appreciate him tonight. Just say something good unto him. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. The ancient of days, we appreciate you. We give you all the praise for fighting our battle. Blessed be thy name, O God. We appreciate you. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Because tonight you do great and mighty things. Because tonight you will exceed our expectation. Because tonight everybody will be truly really liberated in the name of Jesus. Because tonight you will scatter every accusation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray for somebody in the name above every other name. Every power reporting you to darkness for punishment. Every power circulating your name for evil. If your amen can thunder loud, let that power be wasted by fire. Let that power be wasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, our topic for tonight is victory over satanic accusation. Victory over satanic accusation. I want you to get yourself ready. It's a night of prayer. I pray for you once again. In the name above every other name. Any power or personality. I mean, spreading your name around for evil. Anybody spreading your name to darkness, let them be destroyed tonight. Let them be destroyed tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy any strong man of shame or embarrassment assigned against your life. Any strong man of shame or embarrassment, let them be buried tonight. Let them be buried tonight. In the name of Jesus, every eyes of darkness assigned to monitor your life and destiny. Every unseen eyes uh, monitoring your life. I decree and declare, let that eye be destroyed by fire. Let them wither by fire. Let them wither by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody tonight. Any power taking your matter to the coven. Somebody needs to say a loud amen to this one. Any power taking your matter to the coven. Any, any power taking your matter to any evil gathering. In the name above every other name, let that power and the coven be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power gathering effort with other powers assigned to bring you down, I decree and declare, let them scatter for your sake, let them scatter for your sake in the name of Jesus. Satanic agreement over your destiny. If you can say a loud amen to this one, every satanic agreement over your destiny and your glory, let it scatter by fire, let it scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody tonight. Every person that you know no rest. Somebody say a loud amen to this one. Every person you know no rest. Every person that you'll be going from battle to battle. If your amen can roar loud, let God bury that power. Let God bury that power. In the name of Jesus. Every person you only labor 
but you don't have anything to show for. I decree and declare, if your amen can thunder loud, let God bury that power. Let God bury that power. In the name of Jesus, every hidden battle ravaging your destiny, every battle that is unseen, but is doing something dangerous to your destiny, let that battle scatter by fire. Let that battle scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to please pray the following prayers. I call them appetizer prayer before we go into the world. Say any power taking my name to the covenant be destroyed with the covenant in the name of Jesus. Any power taking my name to the covenant, you and that covenant be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed with that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power circulating my name for evil in any covenant be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed with that covenant, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say, Oh God, arise, overthrow the wicked in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Overthrow the wicked in my life. Overthrow them, oh God. Overthrow them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Overthrow the wicked in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody please pray that prayer very, very well. Oh God, arise. Overthrow the wicked in my life. Overthrow the wicked in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say every altar of darkness walking against my moving forward. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of darkness walking against my advancement. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire and be destroyed. Catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire. Command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of darkness walking against my advancement. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of darkness walking against my advancement. Catch fire tonight and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every water walking against my going forward. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Say every power challenging my advancement be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power challenging my advancement be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Command them to be destroyed. Every power challenging my advancement be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers challenging my advancement be destroyed tonight, be destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power challenging my going forward be destroyed. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you in the name above every other name. Every power resisting your doing well. Somebody is screaming loud amen to this one. Every power resisting your doing well. Let them be buried tonight. Let that power be buried tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power arranging effort with every other beggarly power to fight you. I pray, let them all scatter for your sake. In the name of Jesus, let them scatter for your sake. Let them scatter for your sake. In the mighty name of Jesus, every power that has vowed to make your life difficult, every power that has vowed to make life miserable for you, if your amen can roll around, let them be wasted by fire. Let them be wasted by fire. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. We welcome you once again to tonight's meeting. God bless you. If you are just joining us, you are welcome powerfully in the name of Jesus. The theme for tonight's prayer meeting is victory over satanic accusation. Victory over satanic accusation. Tonight, I'm, try I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to attempt to scratch the surface of something very, very deep. Because we can't exhaust this topic tonight, I'll just try to scratch the surface. Very quickly, please. Open your Bible with me to the book of Romans, chapter 8, from verse 33 to verse 34. Romans 8, 33 to 34. And it says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is it that shall condemn? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us? May the Lord bless His word in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless His word in the mighty name of Jesus. So our scripture tonight is very, very clear and very emphatic. Who shall accuse you before God? Now you are God's elect. Hallelujah! You are God's elect, and He's saying, "Who shall accuse you? Who dares accuse you? Who has any right to bring accusation against you?" 
if you read the preceding verse, it says, who himself even did not spare his own son for us. Hallelujah. The same one who did not spare his son is the one that has justified you. Hallelujah. So your justification in God is not just a mere statement. It's a settled matter. And so it is very common in the character of the enemy to bring accusation. But upon your justification, it will amount to nothing. And I'm praying for somebody tonight. Everything the enemy is bringing against you, it shall amount to nothing. It shall amount to nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus. So your understanding of this truth is very, very important, beloved. Hallelujah. Your understanding of this truth is very, very important. Because you see, many times you can own something, but ignorance of that thing can make you suffer as though you didn't own it. Praise the Lord. And so our spirit says, who shall bring a charge against God's elect? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? Many times the enemy tries to fight us even with our own mind. It's an amazing thing that we are just right before God. But then the enemy tries so much to fight us, to bring accusation against us. If you don't have the understanding that you have been justified in Christ Jesus, it can actually bring you down. Hallelujah. The Greek word for justify is the word the chaosis, which denotes to be innocent, to be free, to be righteous before God. And it's important that you understand that I've been made the righteousness of Christ Jesus. But if you don't know, perpetually, the enemy keeps tormenting you. Because in Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, the Bible calls him the accuser of the brethren. And not only that, the Bible says he accuses us day and night. Day and night. If you look at that scripture, the way he used the verb, hallelujah, it means it's something in action. And God is showing you the right you have before him. And so it's important that you, you carry this awareness that you are justified in Christ Jesus. Who is it that condemns it? So no matter what anybody brings as a child before you, there is no condemnation. The Bible says there is therefore no condemnation against them that are in Christ Jesus. And so it's important, beloved, that for you to, to be victorious in the battle of life, you understand that you have been justified in Christ. Because enemy will continually bring accusation against you. But it's better to know that even before you became born again, your justification has been paid for. Hallelujah. What does it mean to accuse? To accuse means to make a charge of wrongdoing against someone or some people. It also means to allege. Hallelujah. And now accusation or allegation as it were can either be true or false. And most often, the enemy brings false accusation against us. He lies to us. He speaks to people's mind. Some people need to shout to devil like, devil, get out of my mind. People need to shout that tonight, devil, get out of my mind. Because many times he speaks things with your head, he brings false ideas, he paints wrong, wrong pictures. Many friendships have been destroyed because of this. Many businesses have been, have, been, have been destroyed. Many organizations have gone down because of this. Even many marriages have been destroyed because of this. Because the devil comes and keeps painting a wrong picture. And so a false accusation is what the devil uses to fight believers most times. The major weapon is accusation. But most often he uses a false accusation because like I told you, an accusation can either be true or can be false. And so what is a false accusation? It's an untrue charge that someone has done something wrong. Normally, injustice and false accusation, they, they flock together. And so even though if you look in scripture, many great men of old who suffer persecution as believers, they went through all kinds. But the first thing they went through was to be accused wrongly and then made to suffer for what they did not do. And so when the devil is accusing you wrongly and you don't understand the doctrine of your justification and you accept it, it can make you to suffer what you did not even do. I pray for you in the name above any other name. Any way you have been falsely accused, God will vindicate you. God will vindicate you in the name of Jesus. Anybody reporting you to powers of darkness tonight, let God judge them. Let God judge them in the name of Jesus. Maybe you did not hear anybody reporting you to the powers of darkness tonight. Let God judge them. Let everyone judge them in the name of Jesus. Beloved, it's important that we know we have an enemy who is constantly at work to ensure that he brings us down. The devil is not just only a liar who seeks to deceive us. It's also, it's not just only a tempter who seeks to ensnare us. 
is not only a murderer who seeks to kill us he's also an accuser who seeks to condemn us the end goal is condemnation and in fact the very name satan means accuser hence why bible says in revelation 12 verse 10 says the accuser of the brothers or the brethren who accuses them day and night before god imagine somebody's job is to accuse people day and night it isn't just accuse them but he accuses them day and night and those whom we cannot condemn because they are in christ Jesus, he labors day and night to destroy their spiritual peace has the enemy been destroying or, or, or affecting your peace has the enemy been speaking to your mind and, and, and tampering with your peace? I pray for you tonight. That negative situation, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus. No matter how much a saint hates sin and longs to please his God, the devil will strive so much to blot out the light of God's favor. He will keep fighting every time with different false informations he speaks to their mind he paints pictures in their head he reminds them of the things that they did that was wrong before they knew god he fights them with wrong visions telling them that god is angry with them god is not happy with them he makes them feel god is not exactly happy with them to the end that they begin to condemn themselves and many christians today not only the devil they even condemn themselves because the devil reminds them of who they used to be Bible says there's therefore no condemnation. That's why we need to be a student of the Bible. There's therefore no condemnation. It doesn't matter what you did before. Because you are now in Christ Jesus, you are a new person. And there is no condemnation against you. You have been justified, but away from the old person. You are now a new person. Any voice that is speaking to you is a false allegation. I'm praying for somebody tonight. If your amen can roar loud, every satanic noise in your soul let god silence them let god silence them in the name of jesus maybe you did not hear me any satanic voice or noise in your soul let god silence them in the mighty name of jesus every internal battle you are going through let that battle scatter by fire let that battle scatter by fire in the name of jesus in fact maybe you did not know listen the battles of life are either won or lost in the mind Hallelujah. The battles of life are either won or lost in the mind. No matter how much you do your face, they call it bone face in my country. No matter how much you try to fake it or try to make it look real, if you are defeated in your mind, it's only a matter of time. You are truly defeated. I pray for somebody. Every battle going on in your soul, let that battle scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Satanic accusation levied against you by the power in the blood of Jesus. We cancel it tonight. We cancel it tonight in the name of jesus lift your voice to god almighty tonight and shout this prayer loud and clear say strange voices uh, ravaging my soul i silence you now in the name of jesus every strange voices ravaging my soul i silence you now i silence you now i silence you now in the name of jesus strange voices making noise in my soul i silence you now i silence you now in the name of jesus quiet and silent those voices in the mighty name of jesus every strange voices speaking in my soul I silence you. I silence you. I silence you in the mighty name of Jesus. I silence you in Jesus mighty name we pray say satanic battle going on in my soul scatter by fire in the name of jesus every evil battle going on in my soul scatter 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 command them to scatter in the mighty name of jesus satanic battle going on in my soul every internal battle in my life scatter 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 by fire scatter 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 in the name of jesus satanic battle going on in my soul scatter to desolation scatter to desolation in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah there are people that have so much given the enemy the chance the devil will write the script in their head he will assign cast to it in their head he will direct it in their head and they will act it by themselves in their head and at the end of one hour of sitting on their own the devil has produced a whole movie in their head to the end that many even destroy themselves but i pray for you tonight every negative accusation in your life tonight let it scatter by fire let it scatter by fire let it scatter by fire in the name of jesus that's what the enemy does that's what the enemy does he perpetually accuses you before the father he accuses a believer day and night the bible says he does so day and night that is what he does but blessed be god hallelujah blessed be our god bible says who shall bring a charge against god's elect that's your passport to freedom 
your justification was taken care of before you were born again. And so an awareness, or rather, let me say, an understanding of this is what really gives you victory. It's not enough that I'm born again. An understanding of your justification is what gives you victory. Because when the enemy sees that you remain in your ordination and you keep your consecration, the enemy can stage an event for your accusation. Hallelujah. When the enemy sees that you remain in your ordination and you keep your consecration, he can stage an event of accusation. He accused a man in scripture falsely. The man by the name Joseph. We all know the story. A Hebrew young man who was sold into slavery by his own brothers. Eventually he was sold to an Egyptian army general by the name Potiphar. Now, the Bible says this young man Joseph he was a very handsome man. He looks really, really good. The Bible says after some time, his master's wife cast eyes on this man called Joseph and said, Lie with me! But this young man perpetually refused. He kept his consecration. Many believers need to know that there is power in consecration. You need to keep your consecration. And this guy perpetually refused. The man will call him, lie with me. Try and picture that kind of thing. Lie with me, lie with me. The guy kept refusing. But one the Bible says, he went into the house to do his work. And none of the men of the house was there. See the way the enemy is taking something against this man. He was going with an innocent mind. He was genuine. He had a good intention. To go and do his housework, his chores. But I said, none of the men were there. I pray for somebody. Every trap assigned to bring you down. Let that trap scatter. Let that trap scatter. Let that trap scatter. In the name of Jesus. Look at that. The enemy stage a scenario. He staged an event. He was going to go and do his work in the house. And none of the men of the house was there. At least he would have had a witness. I said, and she caught him by the garment. <laughs> in other words, today you must do something. I said, he caught him by the guy and said, lie with me. But this guy was a very sharp guy. He understood scripture. The Bible says flee. So the Bible says he left his garment in her hand and ran out of the house. As soon as he saw that the man left his garment in her hand and ran away, I said, she called unto the men of death and said, see, he has brought an Hebrew man. He has brought among us an Hebrew man to, 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 make, to, to molest us, to, to make jest of us, to ridicule us. He came to lie with me and I cried with a loud voice. As soon as he heard my voice that is being lifted, he left his garment and he ran. Now, this guy has been living in that house for only God knows that, only God knows when. It is now you know he's an Hebrew. It is now you know that she wants to lie with you. That guy has been in that house for a very long time. As soon as he heard my voice, he left his garment and he left. So the man put the garment in. Try and picture that kind of scenario. As soon as he heard my voice, oh, he had to run out and he left. But this is his garment. This is the proof. In other words, this is my evidence. I actually did it. Beloved, as innocent as that young man was, as, as, as sincere as that young man was, that matter landed him in jail. I pray for everyone hearing me tonight. Any plan of the enemy, prepare to finish you. Let that plan scatter. Let that plan scatter. Let that plan scatter. In the name of Jesus, let that plan scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, as sincere as that man was, as born again as he was, as good and genuine as he was, that matter took him to the prison. I pray for somebody again. If your amen can roar like thunder, every satanic trap assigned against your life, let that trap catch their owner. Let it catch the owner. Let it catch the owner. In the mighty name of Jesus. Believe it or not, there are believers today serving prison sentences, either physical or spiritual. Hallelujah. They are born again, serving, serving prison sentence, either spiritual one or a physical one, for matters they know nothing about, for things they were sincere and genuinely innocent about. There is a saying in my language, countless people have been beheaded. Many of them are guiltless. There are many beheaded people which are guiltless. They know nothing about it. I want you to lift your voice to Almighty God and cry to God tonight. Say, battles facing my life over matter I know nothing about. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle facing my life over the matter I know nothing about. Scatter, 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 scatter in the name of Jesus. Every punishment I'm going through for matters I know nothing about be terminated tonight in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice to the Almighty God, every battle facing my life for matters I know nothing about, scatter by fire, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every battle facing my life for things I know nothing about, scatter to desolation, scatter to desolation in the name of Jesus. Every battle facing my life for things I know nothing about, scatter, 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 scatter by fire in Jesus' 
mighty name we pray say satanic plan assigned to destroy me backfire to your planner in the name of jesus satanic plan assigned to destroy me backfire to your planner backfire tonight backfire 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 command them to backfire in the name of jesus satanic plan assigned to destroy me backfire 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 in the name of jesus every evil plan assigned to bring me now either in ministry in career in business backfire tonight backfire tonight command them to backfire command them to backfire in jesus mighty name we pray a man in scripture his name is a man he protests something very very terrible against Mordecai but in the end by the help of God the same gallow he dug for this man was used to hang him somebody I want you to pray with understanding tonight listen there are some things that if you don't pray them out of your life you can be a victim I want you to open your mouth and shout this prayer loud and clear say satanic plan assigned to destroy me backfire to your planner in the name of Jesus backfire 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 in the name of Jesus satanic plan assigned to destroy me backfire tonight backfire tonight backfire tonight in the name of Jesus I command you to backfire Fire in the mighty name of Jesus, by fire tonight, by fire tonight, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, Satanic trap assigned to destroy me, destroy your owner in the name of Jesus, destroy your owner, destroy your owner, destroy your owner in the mighty name of Jesus. Satanic trap assigned to destroy me, destroy your owner, destroy your owner, destroy your owner in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray by the power in the name of Jesus. Every power or every plan assigned to bring you down. Let that plan scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody hearing me tonight. Everything the enemy has concluded in order to finish you, let that thing finish them. Let it finish them. In the name of Jesus, maybe you did not hear me. Everything the enemy has concluded to bring you down, let it destroy them. Let it destroy them. Let it destroy them. In the name of Jesus, whatever they have satanically planned, every cleverly plan of the plan of the enemy, everything the enemy has cleverly planned, assigned to destroy you remaining days in this year, by the power in the name of Jesus, let that plan backfire, let it backfire let it backfire, let it backfire in the name of Jesus, every weakness they have known about you, every power monitoring you, looking for a day and time to strike, in order to bring you down listen, some things are better not happen than for it to happen and you are looking for remedy. I pray for everyone hearing me tonight and by extension those that will hear this message afterwards on YouTube by the power in the name of Jesus anything assigned to bring you down let that thing backfire to Jonah in the name of Jesus. Let it backfire let it backfire, let it backfire let it backfire, let it backfire in the name of Jesus Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Now talking about accusation beloved it is important to know that Accusation can either be true or false, like I said earlier. It is easy to fight or talk back when you are falsely accused. Do you know sometimes you, you are accused and you're like, no, I didn't do it. You, your, your muzzle will, st- will be standing up. You, you will fight back because you know you didn't do it. But let me ask you, what do you do when you are rightfully accused? Oh, I'm sure that one will come very, very strange and you'll be surprised. What do you do when when the accusation is actually true because there are times thank you holy spirit that there are times that things will happen and you know that god i did this thing there are believers still struggling with many many things i mean many things and so what do you do when the accusation is right beloved accusation is a very potent weapon in the hand of the enemy the spirit realm is very very organized and so when you do some things, even when Pastor Rapport does not know, or your pastor does not know, spirits can see you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Spirits can see you. And so what do you do when you are rightfully accused? It's therefore very imperative that we sustain the grace to, to keep our consecration. We need to be careful and be very sensitive. In fact, let me tell you, in the kingdom of darkness, one of the ways to initiate battle or fight against a person is to find an allegation. Why? Because it's a legal ground for them to speak against you. I'll say that again. One of the ways they fight in the kingdom of darkness, if they want to initiate battle or fight against a person, is to find an allegation. Something very, very solid, a legal ground for them to initiate a problem. 
when the business of spirits beloved spirits are ancient beings they are smarter than us they understand your bloodline they know the weakness in that bloodline they know <laughs> thank you jesus by the reason of you know the error of your forefathers they can fight you on that account because you are in that bloodline they understand your inadequacies they know the one in your lineage in case you are saying i'm born again i haven't done anything wrong they can see on account of the one that your forefathers did we are bringing you to justice they know your family history they know matters you never knew existed matters you never knew or called they know spirits know even the ones you know that you've forgotten i can't remember spirits still remember they know and on account of that they can bring a charge against you oh thank you jesus but our text says tonight who shall bring any charge you see you need to understand this concept of justification that is not only when you are not when you are innocent that even when you are wrong your justification has been settled it's not an attempt to encourage sin or foolishness but that even when you are wrong and accusation is brought against you on account of your justification by the blood of jesus you can be exempted from any punishment. I pray for you in the name above every other name. Every legal ground the enemy is using to fight you. Every legal ground the enemy is using against your life. By the mercy of God, let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Listen, people that are, that, you know, that are in the law um, you, you know, industry or people that are lawyers or barristers among us will understand this very well. In the law court, they fight with allegation. The enemy can pitch. I watched a movie a long time ago. I can't remember the name now. I think Anatomy of Scandal. The, 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 a, a, a brilliant barrister can pitch a theory and present to the judge. If your if your if your own barrister is not smart, you can actually go to jail for something he did not do. And even when you've done something and you've concealed it, a brilliant barrister can pitch a theory of this is how I think it happened. If the judge buys it, you may actually go to jail. But I pray for you again, in the name above every other name, every legal ground, the enemy is using to fight you. For night by the mercy of God, let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the word of God. This scripture is so powerful. By the power in the word of God, everything that the enemy is using as an advantage over your destiny, tonight let it be terminated let it be terminated in the name of jesus there is a system in god's kingdom called mercy there is a system in the kingdom of god called mercy now what is mercy mercy simply means forgiveness or pardon for sin the bible says mercy in the book of james triumphs over judgment in other words where judgment is waiting for you in other words you actually committed that sin and you are due to be punished where judgment is waiting for you this system in god's kingdom called mercy can suspend that thing this system called mercy on account of true repentance can actually suspend every punishment i'm praying for somebody tonight as many struggling with one internal guilt or the other as many struggling with one situation or the other by the mercy of god everything they are proposed to punish you with let it be suspended let it be suspended in the name of jesus by the mercy of god every punishment due for you let it be suspended let it be suspended in the name of jesus if you have been to the court when somebody says oh objection my lord you can say objection overruled or objection sustained if he says overruled no that was guys sit down let this guy continue talking praise the lord i pray for somebody tonight by the power in the name of jesus every ruling of the enemy assigned to deal with you or punish you by the mercy of god let it be cancelled 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 in the name of jesus Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1 to 4. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, And he showed me Joshua the high priest. Now pay attention to this. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. Why? Because his garment was filthy. The same way the enemy is resisting many. The same way the enemy is resisting and dealing with many. I pray for you. Everywhere evil judgment is waiting for you. By the mercy of God, let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the cross, every judgment that's trying to deal with you, let it be suspended. Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody tonight, every satanic resistance against your life, by the power in the name of Jesus, let it be cancelled tonight. Let it be cancelled tonight. In the name of Jesus, listen, 
there are people who have been stagnated in life there are people who are perpetually resisted resisted they want to go forward things are not working they are doing everything possible in their power but there is a power that is unseen that keeps resisting them on account of something they are alleging them with they may not really know listen there are things that you've done that except god opens your eyes you can be in that state for a very long time but i bring you a good news tonight by the power in the name of jesus Bible says, there's therefore no condemnation for them that are in christ Jesus. whether you committed that offense or your ancestors committed it but by the power in the name of jesus and by the premium of the blood of jesus every punishment due for you tonight by the mercy of god let it be cancelled let it be cancelled let it be cancelled in the name of jesus ancient battle of your lineage i pray for you by the power of the mercy of god let it be cancelled over your life let it be cancelled tonight let it be cancelled tonight in the name of jesus i heard the story <laughs> one of the patriarchs of blessed memory he said this story <laughs> and he said when he was a young catechist in a particular denomination, I will not mention him. <laughs> he said a particular elder used to punish him. He would deal with him, he would frustrate his life. Hallelujah. He would frustrate him. The man would deal with him and, you know, he just likes to make things difficult for him. And he said he began to pray for the power of God. And God began to build him spiritually. He said he got to a point. This man asked his children. I said, God, for my sake, call all his children into ministry so that they can suffer what their father did. Imagine that level. Call his children to ministry so that they can suffer what their father did to me. Isn't it strange that even in the church of God, people still make life difficult for themselves? And he said, for more than 20 years, all those children, they graduated, they were just suffering, going up and down, going up and down. It was one of them that prayed to the point that God revealed to him that your father has offended somebody. And he's a prophet of God. Go and apologize. He said, and the man came to look for him in his where is you know this man is situated in Oshun State, Nigeria. He said, Daddy, please, sir, be merciful. He said, and he prayed for him that from today you are exempted from under that cause. Only you, the rest are still under it. Until they know the secret, you know. I pray for you. By the power in the name of Jesus, every punishment the enemy has planned for you, let the mercy of God cancel it. Let the mercy of God cancel it. Let the mercy of God cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to open your mouth tonight and pray like this. Say, in the name of Jesus, satanic allegation levied against my life. Mercy of God, cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus, satanic allegation levied against my life. Be cancelled tonight by the mercy of God. Be cancelled tonight by the mercy of God. Be cancelled tonight in the name of Jesus. Jesus, satanic allegation levied against my life. Mercy of God, cancel it. Mercy of God, cancel it. In the name of Jesus, satanic allegation levied against my life. Mercy of God, cancel it. Mercy of God, cancel it. Cry for the mercy of God tonight. Every allegation levied against my destiny. Mercy of God, cancel it tonight. Mercy of God, cancel it tonight. Mercy of God, cancel it tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say satanic resistance against my life. Mercy of God, scatter it in the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy of God, scatter it. Mercy of God, scatter it in the name of Jesus. Satanic resistance against my life by the mercy of God. Scatter tonight, scatter tonight, scatter tonight in the name of Jesus. Every evil resistance against my life by the mercy of God. I command you to scatter. I command you to scatter. I command you to scatter in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God, scatter it tonight. Mercy of God, scatter it tonight in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah the bible says mercy triumph over judgment for people that understands the mystery of the mercy of god you will know what i'm talking about mercy in fact mercy is not just a tool for forgiveness but i don't have time to explain tonight i want you to pray that prayer again every resistance against my life mercy of god cancel it hallelujah are we ready say in the name of jesus resistance against my life mercy of god cancel it in the mighty name of jesus every resistance against my destiny mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it in the name of jesus every resistance against my life mercy of god terminate it mercy of god scatter it mercy of god scatter it in jesus mighty name we pray say where evil judgment as 
has been issued against me. Mercy of God, advocate for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Where evil judgment has been issued against me. Mercy of God, advocate for me. Advocate for me. Advocate for me in the name of Jesus. Where evil judgment has been issued against me. Mercy of God, advocate for me. Advocate for me. Somebody pray that prayer very, very well. Where evil judgment has been issued against me. Mercy of God, advocate for me. Where judgment has been issued against my life, against my ministry, against my home. Mercy of God, advocate for me. Mention your order of concern in the mighty name of Jesus. Every judgment over my life. Mercy of God, advocate for me. Advocate for me. Advocate for me. Advocate for me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh my God, our time is gone. Thank you, Jesus. I told you I'm just about to scratch the surface of something very, very deep. We can't finish everything tonight. This scripture is like a law court where you have a prosecuting counsel and a defense counsel. And the prosecutor brings evidence or brings different accusations to back or to prove his case. Hallelujah. But the good thing about Joshua is that he had an advocate. Because when you study further, the Bible says, the Lord is saying, Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. Truly, truly, Joshua's clothes was filthy. This man in the realm of men, he was a big man. He had the title. He was a big man. He was an high priest. In the realm of men, he was a big man. But when he showed up before the immortal, listen, in that place, your title makes no sense. It does not matter. They don't care about your title. What matters is your scepter, your consecration, your holiness. Spirits don't fear your title. What is your scepter in Zion? What are you operating by? What's your level of purity? The highest level of purity or the all mark of power when it comes to spiritual things is purity. And so when he showed up there, his title made no sense. Even though he was an high priest, the Bible said he had a filthy garment. Not even a dirty one, a filthy garment. I'm praying for somebody tonight. Every garment that is upon you that is filthy. After the order of Joshua, let God change your garment. Let God change your garment in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for every servant of God tonight, including myself. Anywhere our garment has been stained, it doesn't mean you fornicated. But to, to all intent and purpose, sin is sin. Every filthiness upon your garment, by the mercy of God, after the order of Joshua, let God change your garment. Let God change your garment. Let God change your garment in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything bringing filth, everything bringing stain to your calling, everything bringing shame to your calling, by the mercy of God tonight, let God remove it. Let God remove it in the name of Jesus. This was Joshua the high priest. In the Bible, these high priests are not just anybody. It's not like an usher or traffic order or like uh, somebody in prayer band. An high priest. The Bible says his garment was filthy. And so an allegation was brought against him in the court of God. The Bible says, and Satan stood beside him to resist him. Listen, beloved, anytime there is a cause or there is something for the, for the enemy to fight you, he has the right to resist. Anytime the devil has a legal ground, the next thing he does is to resist. He can resist your finance. He can resist your health. He can resist your peace of mind. He can do anything. But I'm praying for somebody tonight. Anything serving as an advantage for the enemy over your life. Tonight, let that thing be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, the enemy can take your matter to the court of the spirit. And once there's a legal ground, they can fight. But I pray for somebody tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Anything standing as an advantage for the enemy over your life, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Can you please pray very loud and clear? Say satanic courtroom entertaining my case. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic courtroom entertaining my case. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Satanic courtroom entertaining my case. Catch fire tonight. Catch fire tonight in the name of Jesus, any satanic courtroom entertaining my matter, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, say, satanic court verdict issued against my life be cancelled tonight in the name of Jesus. Be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled. Every evil verdict issued against my life be cancelled tonight by the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled tonight, be cancelled tonight. Use the blood tonight. Be cancelled, be cancelled, be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every evil verdict issued against my life be cancelled by the blood. Be cancelled by the blood. Be cancelled by the blood. Be cancelled by the blood in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Satanic verdict. I was says the blood just speaks better than 
than the blood of Abel. In the spirit realm, blood can speak. Hallelujah. It can speak. Because, listen, beloved, as we have the court of God, there is also a satanic court. There is a court for the dark kingdom where they take people's matter there. Beloved, maybe you don't know. Life is very, very spiritual. Life is very deep. Listen, beloved, there is a gathering where their agenda in that gathering is evil perpetually. There is an association where destiny wastage is the order of the day. There is an association. They don't care to kill the mother and the children in one day. They don't have conscience. They are not moved. There is an association or a gathering where the word mercy is alien to them. There is a gathering. Destruction and manipulation of destiny is, is their agenda number one thing they love to do. There is an evil parallel judiciary where they judge right as wrong and they judge wrong as right. Even if they are wrong, so far the person that brought the matter is part of them. You that you are right, they make you go wrong and they make their own person go right. And many people have been a victim of that ordeal. Say, what did he do to you? Said, okay, don't worry. They twist the matter and they fight you on top of it. There is a gathering where they take the man on the horse, they put him down and take the one on the foot that has not done anything and put him on the horse. But I pray for somebody tonight, any power assigned to recreate your destiny, somebody who can say a loud amen to this one, any power assigned to recreate your destiny, let that power be buried tonight. Let it be buried tonight. Let it be buried tonight in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 79, verse 20. Psalm 79, verse 20 to 22. I don't have too much of time. He says, I'll read verse 20 because of our time. He says, Have respect unto the covenant, for the dark places of this earth are full of the habitation of cruelty. Ah, look at that. Have respect unto the covenant, for the habitation of the dark places of this earth are full of what? Cruelty. The word cruelty means wickedness. If my English is correct are full of what habitation of cruelty there is a place the bible calls a dark place of the earth indeed there are dark places beloved and their dominant thing there or activity there is wickedness this dark place is habitation of cruelty the name of such a place is called the coven a place where people's cases and matters are being deliberated where people are being accused and satanic verdict are passed against them and there are people who have sought you know, who are seriously condemned to the end that even on the physical their life does not amount to anything but thank god for the power of spiritual the Bible says, no weapon that is formed against you that shall prosper and any tongue that shall rise against you thou 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 shall condemn thou in other words you yourself you shall condemn them as many hearing me tonight whom the enemy has taken your matter to any garden of the cruel people by the power in the name of jesus let god arise and fight your battle let god fight your battle let god fight your battle let god fight your battle in the name of jesus open your mouth and praise very loud and clear say any satanic tongue accusing my life i condemn you in the name of jesus satanic tongue accusing my life i condemn you tonight be condemned be condemned be condemned be condemned tonight in the name of jesus satanic tongue accusing my life i condemn you i condemn you i condemn you in the name of jesus satanic tongue accusing my life i condemn you i condemn you i condemn you in the name of jesus i condemn you satanic tongue accusing my life i condemn you tonight i condemn you tonight in the name of jesus satanic tongue accusing my life be condemned be condemned be condemned be condemned in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray say covenant judgment passed against my life be nullified by the blood of jesus be nullified be nullified in the name of jesus covenant judgment passed against my life be nullified by the blood of jesus be nullified be nullified in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray that prayer very well pray with boldness and confidence every covenant judgment passed against my life be nullified be nullified be nullified in the name of jesus be nullified by the blood of jesus be nullified be nullified i nullify you covenant judgment made against my life be nullified be nullified be nullified in jesus mighty name we pray oh my god i need to stop now say verdict of darkness over my life mercy of god cancel it in the name of jesus every verdict of darkness over my life mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it verdict of darkness over my life mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it in the name of jesus every verdict of darkness over my life mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it mercy of god cancel it in jesus mighty name we pray oh, we have to 
them in this moment. There is something about the mercy of God, beloved. Mercy can respond and come to your rescue. Even when you don't merit it. <laughs> Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy to find grace to help in time of need. In other words, a time will arise. Just like I'm telling you, when your matter has been taken to prison, when you have been accused, that we may come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace help in time of need. Now, mercy is an unmerited love of God for his children. The mercy of God is an unmerited love. Listen, what Christ suffered for, he, he, he does not have to suffer it. He didn't have to suffer it. But on account of the love that the Father has for us, he went through it. And so if you read the scripture we read in Romans 8, the preceding verse, it says, whom did not spare his only son for who? For you, not for himself. And so in Ephesians 2, 4 to 5, he says, But God, who is rich in mercy, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin. So it wasn't that when you came born again was when God loved you. No. Hallelujah. The mercy of God did not start upon your life when you became born again. No. He said, But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace, ye are saved. In fact, let me say very quickly that forgiveness itself is one of the layers of the mercy of God. The whole of the, ent the entirety of mercy is not just for forgiveness. There are deeper dimensions of the mercy of God than just forgiveness. Mercy is deeper than just being forgiven. And so in John 8, 1 to 11, it talks of a woman, hallelujah, that was shamedly dragged to Jesus. Praise God. The Bible says he was caught in the very act. John 8, from 1 to 11. He was caught in the very act. And you know what it means to be caught in the very act? In other words, she was truly guilty. The Bible says she was caught. She, had barely, she was barely able to put on her clothes. And they dragged her, embarrassed her to Jesus. Truly, she was caught. So it wasn't a case of false accusation. But instead of death sentence, mercy said no. By the Mosaic law, she should be stoned to death. But instead of that death, mercy said no. I prophesy every weight of iniquity assigned to kill you by the mercy of God. Let it be removed tonight. Let it be removed tonight. In the name of Jesus, every iniquity and every error assigned to destroy you, let mercy cancel it. Let mercy cancel it. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says she was caught in the very act. And according to Mosaic law, she should be stoned to death. They asked Jesus and stated her allegation. Master! This woman was caught in adultery, even in the very act. They emphasized it. She was supposed to die. And since Moses said we should, be, we should stone her to death, what do you say, Jesus? What do you say? Hallelujah. She was supposed to die, but mercy came to play. Jesus said, He that is among you that have not sinned should be the first to cast the stone. By the time we came to verse 10 of the same chapter, when Jesus lifted himself, lifted himself up to look at the woman, because the woman was standing in the midst, you know, embarrassed and quiet, she couldn't say anything because she was caught in the very act. It wasn't a false allegation. And so Christ looked and said, Ah, what's going on here? Woman, where are thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? He said, No, no man. And Christ said, Neither do I condemn thee. But he gave a clause, go and sin no more. As many hearing me tonight, crying that God, I know I've done this thing, but I have, I'm repenting now. But this weight of sin is still pressing me down. I pray for somebody. As many whom the enemy is tormenting you or punishing you for your past wrong, let mercy cancel that thing tonight. Let mercy cancel it. Let mercy cancel it. Let mercy cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy every allegation assigned for your destruction. Let mercy turn it around. Let mercy turn it around. In the name of Jesus. If Christ can help this woman caught in the very heart, I pray for somebody. Every allegation that the enemy has brought against you, I don't care how powerful it is, but by the mercy of God, let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Every allegation assigned for your destruction, let mercy turn it around. Let mercy turn it around in the name of Jesus. I want to leave the words of the Almighty God tonight and pray this last prayer loud and clear. Say anywhere there is condemnation against me, mercy of God, advocate for me in the mighty name of Jesus anywhere there is condemnation against me mercy of God advocate for me mercy of God advocate for me in the name of Jesus anywhere there is condemnation against my life mercy of God advocate for me advocate for me advocate for me in the name of Jesus anywhere there is condemnation against my life against my own mercy of God advocate for me advocate for me in Jesus 
mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray i pray for you in the name above every other name by the power in the name of jesus anything assigned for your destruction let the mercy of god turn it around let the mercy of god turn it around let the mercy of god turn it around in the name of, oh thank you i just said this in my spirit now i pray for that person the matter you have fasted and prayed about and it seems there's no solution let the mercy of god answer over that matter in the name of jesus whatever seems to be solutionless in your life tonight let the mercy of god profess solution in the name of jesus listen i have seen in scripture from genesis to revelation nobody sincerely asked god by mercy that god did not answer even when they don't qualify the man patinus i'll try and do a teaching on this at some time the word bra means son of the word tinius means unclean so by by the, by the reason of his name this guy is unclean and not only that he was blind and he cried jesus thou son of david have mercy upon me and christ has to stop i pray for somebody hearing me tonight every matter assigned to finish you let mercy turn it around let mercy turn it around in the name of jesus that matter that seems hopeless before men i implore today the tool of the mercy of jehovah let mercy bring solution let mercy bring solution in the name of jesus somebody hearing me every matter bringing embarrassment to your christian existence every matter bringing shame to your christian work let the mercy of god turn it around let the mercy of god turn it around Around. in the name of jesus i pray for that person your error of the past and they are still looking at it from the lens of that error i don't know who this person is thank you holy spirit oh every error of the past that men are still looking at you from the lens of that error tonight by the mercy of god let god turn it around let mercy turn it around in the name of jesus where you have once been embarrassed and ridiculed let mercy of god celebrate you in the name of jesus after the other of Jephthah. Jephthah was the son of the other woman. He was not legitimately born, and they call him son of other woman. But he says Jephthah was rejected. But later, Jephthah was celebrated. I pray for that person. Every error of the past that have caused men to ridicule you by the mercy of God, in the same place they have ridiculed you, let them celebrate you. Let them celebrate you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I pray for somebody hearing me. Let mercy of God speak for you perpetually from today. Enjoy the mercy of God. Enjoy the mercy of God in the name of Jesus anything that stands as a stumbling block before your life every matter that seems like a mountain before you let the mercy of God remove it let the mercy of God remove it whether your error caused it whether your sin caused it I call upon the mercy of God tonight every matter making life difficult for you let the mercy of God remove it let the mercy of God remove it in the name of Jesus thank you our Heavenly Father in Jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray praise the living jesus hallelujah amen thank you everyone for joining us tonight we want to sincerely appreciate you for taking out the time to connect to this program we appreciate you sincerely in the name of jesus if you are joining us for the very first time on this platform this is what a life mission and ministries international we welcome you powerfully in Jesus' name. This program runs every Friday. Hallelujah. It runs every Friday. Our program is every Friday. And the last Friday of the month is our video. And it's in Sardinia. It's, it's for everybody. It's titled Solutionite. Once again, we appreciate you and welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to please beg you and encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channels and um, channel and to please like and share the video and comment on them if you've been blessed also if you're not on our platform do well to put your number in the chat box and i believe the guys will you know add you to the platform the lord bless you in jesus name mondays our women meet on mondays from 7 p.m to 8 p.m please do well if you're a woman you're not in, if you're not in that group yet do well to join them you'll be powerfully blessed and you'll be glad you did hallelujah amen our god is good and all the time god is good our time is fast spent we'll leave the offering to next week i trust god you've been blessed powerfully in the mighty name of jesus and i pray that anything constituting accusation against your life is destroyed already in the name of jesus as you go into this one the lord go with you the lord be with you may it cause face to shine upon you in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray 
Thank you, Pastor Mrs. God bless you, man. Amen. Amen. I appreciate the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Until I see you next week, remain blessed and have a wonderful weekend. Shalom.